Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful, perfect, postcard perfect spring day here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I don't know why I'm even attempting this, people. And I started out so strong, like Joe Biden, right? Uh, anyway, there's a lot of people coming in. I don't know when this battery is going to collapse. But it is a Friday, June 28th, 2024. So I'm just going to, uh, of course, being Friday is... One of my favorite days for the Ain't Gonna Happen Roundup Rant. And guys, before I get into this, uh, just my little uh, two cents worth on those debates. I, I did not listen to one word of that debate last night. I have no desire to ever see uh, the faces of either one of these losers or hear their voices or anything. Uh, it, it, it was from day one a, a debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden is a debate between an e e egomaniac lying sack of shit uh, so we, we, we have a, a, a blustering, bloviating, lying sack of shit uh, on the right and an obviously senile, befuddled, d d just sad uh, old man uh, on the left who has no business managing a Dollar Tree <clears throat> dollar twenty five tree <coughs> much less <coughs> a country okay uh, th 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 this was no shit Sherlock and all these people I am so surprised I said the day that Joe Biden announced he was running uh, that Donald Trump just got the red carpet rolled out to him <coughs> uh, to, to the White House. There is one person uh, on this planet putting Donald Trump uh, in, in, into the White House again. It is Joe Biden. And, and uh, it, it, not that there was any doubt, but the I still haven't listened to one word of it, just reading the reviews uh, of it. If, if anybody, anybody is still suffering the delusion uh, that Donald Trump uh, is going to lose uh, this election. Ain't going to happen. Pull your head out of your ass. But of course, as any Doomer knows, <clears throat> it doesn't uh, make any difference uh, on, on the Doomer level uh, <clears throat> who is in the White House. Uh, anything remotely related uh, to a, a a logical response to what's going on on this planet ain't going to happen. Okay. Uh, I, I said for four years that anyone supporting the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization, as I do, uh, it, it should be the biggest fan of Donald Trump because Donald Trump, more than any human being on this planet, uh, it, it can usher in the collapse and fall of global industrial civilization. So to that end, <clears throat> Donald Trump has a better chance of saving the planet at this point than Joe Biden and another four years of Joe Biden. <clears throat> Anyway, I, I'm done with the, 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 both of these motherfuckers. They, they, you know, all of this shit 
and, 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 and I uh, am part of it. I absolutely delight in making fun of, of maggots. I, uh, I think Sandy's show tonight at 9 o'clock on Environmental Coffee House is going to be a comedy show about making fun of people <clears throat> stupid enough to, to vote uh, for Donald Trump. Well, where is anybody making fun of anybody stupid enough to vote for goddamn Joe Biden? You know, uh, it, it's uh, it's two bunch, it's two packs of clueless fucking morons, as far as I can tell. Anyway, enough said on uh, on that pointless topic that has nothing to do uh, with the state of this planet. Well, anyone who heard my uh, <clears throat> my rant last night on coral reefs uh, heard me mention uh, this uh, this ridiculous story how restoration can help coral reefs. But uh, I did like uh, this quote at the end of the article. Uh, the most honest ain't gonna happen quote in the mainstream media I've seen in a long time in, in an article titled how restoration uh, is, is gonna save goddamn coral reefs we have this uh, marine scientist Gavin Miller from the uh, from the global reef organization quote restoration will not save corals at the current rate we're losing them. And you don't even need to qualify it. Restoration will not save corals. Coral reefs are fucked. Don't need to beat that dead horse. But as long as we're on the mainstream media uh, let's see, a couple on here. <clears throat> Researchers trial, they're using the word trial as a verb. I did not realize that the word trial was a verb, but according to the uh, mainstream media, I guess it is. Researchers trial world's first coffee concrete footpath a major step forward yes the world's first coffee concrete footpath has debuted after a promising study resulted in a stronger and more eco-friendly building material all thanks to the waste from your morning brew so this is talking about the eco-friendly building material of coffee waste. Uh, you know, talking about how coffee waste is more eco-friendly than sand. All right. There is nothing on any level eco-friendly about coffee waste or coffee. And that goes for your goddamn organic coffee like I drink, okay? Your goddamn organic coffee ain't going to save the planet from coffee. And it sure as hell ain't going to replace sand uh, in concrete. Even if it did, sand is probably more eco-friendly than coffee. Pull your head out of your ass. All right, from The Guardian, <clears throat> the new European law that is rare good news for our forests, coastlines, and wildlife. It actually happened after months of controversy and bitter protest that saw biodiversity become a culture war issue the EU's nature restoration law has finally passed last week 
a knife edge vote by member states gave the green light to the first of its kind law, law to protect and revive Europe's beleaguered forests, coastline, grasslands, and wildlife. Yes, member states are now tasked with restoring 20%. 20% of the block's land and sea by the end of this decade. Yes, focusing on natural ecosystems that will store the most carbon and halting the decline of Europe's rapidly vanishing biodiversity. What does this news mean for our environment? Well, what it means is that a few little clueless, limp dick, lefty greenies uh, over there in England are actually swallowing one word of this unadulterated horseshit being spewed in the Guardian. Okay? Like, even if they could uh, restore 20% uh, of the EU's ecosystems in the next six years, which ain't gonna happen, even if it did happen, uh, d d d just letting the other 80% uh, go right on down the toilet is going to do exactly nothing to restore anything. It's gonna reverse nothing. It's gonna restore nothing. It's, it's going to give these little limp dick lefty politicians over there on Zombie Island uh, so, so they can walk around crowing uh, about their goddamn environmental agenda. It is unadulterated horseshit that ain't going to do a fucking thing. Ain't going to happen, ain't going to happen, ain't going to happen. I think we might have a triple ain't going to happen in this bullshit. The Guardian ought to be ashamed. Let's see. One more for the mainstream media. And then uh, we will go over to medium.com and hear what my fellow doomers or former doomers are talking. All we have to do is read the headline and move on from Business Insider. <clears throat> Scientist want to pump carbon into a hole at the bottom of the ocean in a $60 million pilot project to help stop climate change. Ain't gonna happen. Well, uh, again, okay, the $60 million down the toilet, down into a hole in the bottom of the ocean, that's going to happen. $60 million uh, going in a hole at the bottom of the ocean uh, is going to happen. Uh, will they pump some carbon into it? Yeah, they will probably pump some carbon into their $60 million hole uh, at the bottom of the ocean. Will it do a goddamn thing to stop climate change? It will do nothing except put $60 million uh, probably into some billionaire's pocket and, and, and delude these little limp dick lefty greenies about this bullshit carbon capture. Ain't gonna happen. Anyway, enough of the uh, mainstream media. Uh, I guess my camera battery is still on. Here we go. I love this one. We're going over to medium.com. I love this one from Crystal Rivers. Let's all stop eating junk food. Yes. And then the first sentence in her in her ain't gonna happen headline, let's all stop eating junk food. The opening sentence is, we are not going to stop eating 
trashy food. <clears throat> so I, I guess I kind of like that. You, you publish an ain't gonna happen headline and then uh, the lead of your story to your ain't gonna happen headline is just uh, explaining that it ain't gonna happen. Thank you, uh, Crystal Rivers, for explaining that we are not going to stop eating junk food. Now, this guy, I, I, I'm not going to waste any more, well, much more time on this because I went through this, I think, just uh, last week. This guy who I'm rapidly losing respect for, this guy Steve Jenko, ha has gone uh, on this absolute uh, clueless moron tear uh, 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 about radical acceptance. Uh, uh, about just admitting uh, that we're fucked, there's not a goddamn thing we're going to do about it, and go, uh, going about the rest of your life, how are you going to spend the rest of your life uh, knowing uh, that you're fucked? Uh, that you're fucked, that if you are stupid enough to breed, <coughs> that your children are fucked, your grandchildren are fucked, uh, the human race is fucked, uh, and every uh, living earthling we share this planet with is fucked and deal with it and, and uh, accept it. And, and I guess uh, he wrote a third article today just screaming uh, at these doomers. He is just uh, Steve Jenko, who I thought was a doomer with a brain uh, th this is, I guess, is part two of a now three-part story where he just repeats the same shit over and over again. This one is titled, We Need Radical Hood. We Need Radical Hood. We Need Radical Hood. Radical Hood. Radical Hood. Radical Hood. Not. Radical acceptance. Yes. Lately, I've been reading a lot about radical acceptance and how it is the right way to think about climate change and our other aspects of our poly crisis. My initial reaction was visceral. No! Radical acceptance will doom us to inaction. It elevates passivity and devalues the many steps we need to take to mitigate the damage we have inflicted on the planet, our fellow humans, and most other species. Yes. But when I suggested this to some of my favorite writers who have been tossing the term around recently, I've been told I've got it all wrong. Radical acceptance doesn't mean what I think it means. Obviously, it doesn't. Uh, anyway, you just go right on with your radical, your radical, radical. Moving on, this guy Jan Stort, I think I've mentioned, uh, I think Jan is a guy, what to do if, what to do if, this is just one of those basically, uh, you, you, you know, preparing for some uh, emergency, just, you know, just one of these bullshit emergency checklist this, this isn't full-blown, you know, survivalist shit. It, 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 it's, it, it's just no shit Sherlock. Basic advice is what every one of us uh, need to do uh, to prepare uh, for, you, you, you know, some, you know, a goddamn tornado or a hurricane or a flood or a wildfire, what have you. And, and then, of course... Uh, none of us are doing a goddamn thing. 
get in the habit of always keeping your your fuel your vehicle fuel tank at least half full i've got i think i'm on the out of gas warning light stash fifty dollars hidden in your car <sighs> anyway i do have the small fire extinguisher there you go uh, don't forget the box of KN95 face mask. He did not mention toilet paper. So I, I remember uh, scooping up a pile of, uh, of uh, Sancho shit on the Ithaca uh, pedestrian mall with a face mask so i guess in lieu of toilet paper they work for that because they don't work for anything else all right a roll of aluminum foil a roll of duct tape no i would say gorilla tape i do agree with that one i do agree with that one uh gorilla tape to save your ass in the end times okay I love that now Mike Meyer is uh, is really embarrassing me uh, with this story. The pledge of planetary climate responsibility action in the face of political failure. Yes. So we all need to pledge planetary climate responsibilities since uh, Donald Trump or Joe Biden uh, have no interest in uh, pledging planetary climate responsibility. But of course, nowhere in the article does Mike actually write the pledge. We need a planetary basis of understanding. Yes. Alright. Uh, if a basic all right, if a basic statement of universal factors affecting human survival is promoted locally, there could be huh. There could be, there could be, there could be, of building an unstoppable force for that survival. Yes. This agreement is not a plan, well that's a good thing, or a template for social, political, or economic action. This is an agreement on our current and future conditions as we understand them. These points must be agreed upon to prevent denial of reality. Yes. And uh, to prevent denial of reality, you know, denial of the reality that we're fucked, and refusal to accept that action must be taken both locally and globally. Mm. The statements must be simple, understandable, and not easily denounced. Yes. I have, I have, I have, 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 that, this draft, what draft, I have no idea what the hell he's talking about, will inspire discussion and the acceptance of viable and adequate statements of agreement that will apply to everyone in any position of authority on the planet. 
jumping out of the chair to go uh, throw some soup on Stonehenge or whatever. And then uh, this long article uh, from Eric Lee, I'm not going to get into it. He was borrowing this title directly out of a an article in The Guardian, shockingly enough. What if there just is no solution this is actually, this is Eric talking about this interview in The Guardian with this fellow Tad DeLay about his new book, Future of Denial, The Ideologies of Climate Change. And uh, anyway, I, I've read a lot from Eric. Eric's a good guy. Uh, I'm a little unclear at some points what... Uh, Okay, somewhere in the middle, I, I, again, I've given Eric a lot of press. See the elephant, look behind it, and everyone would see clearly the solution. The solution, rapid depopulation, rapid depopulation and contraction of the global economy. There you go. Uh, there you go. I, uh, I love this clueless moron. He's quoting in the middle of this domestic and community-based solar hydrogen is the technical solution. Yes, I, I'm assuming he's laughing at that. But anyway, uh, apart from above, I think I'm likely crazier. I am perceived by all modern humans as anti-human, a doomer who, should modernity fail, will be the only cause. Yes, it's those doomers. It is those doomers. We are the cause. It is the doomers' fault. The people radically accepting the fact that we are completely fucked and not a goddamn thing is going to happen to change it. The only thing that's going to happen is we're going to get more and more fucked faster and faster than previously thought. We're going to be twice as fucked tomorrow as today, four times as fucked. You see the, the, uh, the, the exponential uh, rate of fuckery. Uh, that's gonna happen. Anyway, speaking of gonna happen, I'm hoping the, uh, the woman checking in here to Seahorse is gonna happen here pretty quick. This is the, this is getting to be nightfall, and I hope she doesn't clog up my urinal like the last woman who stayed here did. I didn't think that was going to happen. I, if somebody had told me the, the first person to ever clog up the urinal uh, in my outhouse was going to be a woman, I would say it ain't going to happen. <coughs> and it happened. <coughs> <coughs> and the little dog says, it's past my dinner time. I need my dinner to happen. I have to go make my little dog's dinner happen while I still can. Bye, guys. We'll see if the uh, batteries conked out 20 minutes ago or if I'm sitting here talking to my damn self. <clears throat> I don't believe it. The camera 
lives pretty much 30 minutes to the second. Look at this beautiful day. My eyes.